I recently had the opportunity to visit Japan for my very first time, and I spent a significant amount of time walking in and out of the most beautiful stationery stores. And these are some handcrafted papers that I purchased. And I would like to create a composition inspired by one of these pieces. And this one over here is really standing out to me. I love the colors as well as the metallic silver leaves. They just seem so whimsical and electric to me reminding me so much of the temple colors and the vibrancy of cities like Tokyo and Osaka as well as Kyoto. To begin you're going to write your topic and set your timer for two minutes using stream of consciousness writing I write down all the words that come to me when I think about my time spent in Japan. Once my timer goes off, I count how many words I have written. There should be at least 18 or more to make sure that we've activated the neural pathways in the brain. And I circle some of the words with curiosity not surprised I see that I've written the word lonely or loneliness or isolated several times. As I traveled on my own, this was a feeling that really impacted me. So I decide to do this composition around the topic of loneliness. So for anyone that ever feels loneliness, Please join me in using NeuroArt and NeuroGraphica to work through those feelings. And we will begin with a circle on the page. The circle represents who you are. After you have illustrated the circle, be sure to NeuroGraph it. And then using all the feelings around loneliness, create your catharsis within the circle. Once you have done that, take all of those lines and neurograph them, blending them out into the rest of the page. Once you have completed extending the neuro lines out onto the page, be sure to harmonize any sharp angles, especially in the catharsis area. You want to make sure that everything is blended and softened. I decide to use a star to represent the community that I would like to connect with. In Neurographica, anything sharp, such as a triangle or a star, has a lot of energy and power around it and this is something that I'm really seeking and I use the star to connect to myself, myself that felt isolated and alone while in Japan. Once again be sure to harmonize and round out all the sharp angles, especially the angles of the star and make sure you use Neuralines to connect the star into the environment, the environment to the star and to the self. Inspired by the paper, I begin archetyping and coloring in the composition. Make sure that you always color in at least two shapes side by side in the same color. That way, nothing stands alone. And especially in this composition around loneliness, we certainly do not want any part of the composition to feel isolated. I decide to use different patterns such as circles and leaves to archetype the composition 
And while I'm doing this, I find myself going into a very zen, mindful flow state, which is giving me the time and space to reflect on my days in Japan on my own and process some of the feelings that came up for me. I illustrate the field lines, I find a focus on the composition, and I feel pretty happy with what I ultimately created. So thank you for watching. I so appreciate you being here. If you would like to learn more about NeuroArt or NeuroGraphica, I warmly invite you to schedule a complimentary session or click on any of the links below this video where you can sign up for my free monthly love notes. Likewise, I invite you to participate in a complimentary masterclass which will most likely take place in June and July. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel already, please do as this is a growing community and all your likes and comments are incredibly supportive, not only to my channel, but in allowing others to have access to this material. And if you are interested in the masterclass, definitely let me know in the comments below when you would like that to happen. It will help me figure out how to move forward with this. And also if you have any ideas that you would like to work on, I so appreciate you. Once again, thank you so much for being here with me and for allowing me to share this beautiful work with you.